That's right, a wild ride. It looks like tomorrow is the wet, stormy day on the warm side. Friday is the cold, snowy day on the cold side. And in between, a pretty strong storm system. Uh, right now, uh, we're quiet here at home, and I am expecting that to be the case through a big part of this evening. Beautiful weather outside. Uh, currently, Doppler radar is quiet. It's out to the west where our problems start. Now, this will be later this evening into tonight, but big thunderstorms moving into western Ohio, west of Columbus. And this is the area of the state that most likely will see the most severe weather. As we get into this evening and into tonight, uh, the threat of severe weather will make its way across the state, especially across central and southern Ohio, uh, with this big storm system that is producing a tremendous amount of severe weather off to our south tonight. Now, the back side of the system, it's cold and it's changing to snow. So, lots to talk about. We're going to walk through it here with Future Tracker this evening. Again, quiet weather here right now, and that's the case for the next uh, several hours. But what I'll be watching for out to the west is these uh, thunderstorms work their way across the state as we get deeper into the evening and especially after 9 o'clock, 10, 11, 12 o'clock tonight, these storms will be pushing into eastern Ohio. Now, the threat is there for some heavy rainfall, gusty wind with these storms right into early tomorrow morning. Can't completely dismiss a stronger storm. I'll be watching it through the night. Rich Morgan will be in here early tomorrow morning. Again, though, the strongest chance of severe weather uh, stays off to our south as we go into the morning. Now, the chance of a thunderstorm sticking around early tomorrow, and then as we go through the day, uh, we're going to get underneath, right underneath the center of the storm almost, and that's going to help us out. It'll let the winds uh, taper off slightly, and then as we get into the backside, uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s start sliding. And here comes the cold side of the system, and the wind starts picking up uh, tomorrow night into early Friday morning. Morning and cold enough that it changes over to snow. And by early Friday morning, looking for around an inch or less of snowfall. But a lot of that's going to melt as it hits the ground. Look at the temperatures close to, if not just above freezing here on Friday morning. So that'll help melt the snow. But it's going to be blowing sideways at times on Friday. Blustery weather expected. Wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour or higher. And could see another one to three inches on Friday before it finally starts to taper off into Friday night and that sets the stage for really nice weather this weekend. Temperatures sitting in the mid to upper 60s right now. Enjoy it while you can. Uh, changes on the way overnight. Dropping to 53. Rain developing, especially late. Chance of thunderstorms. Some could be strong with a gusty wind and heavy rainfall uh, right through early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's high 56, rain likely, thunderstorms early, showers into the afternoon. Uh, the wind picks up, we turn colder tomorrow night. Rain mixes over to snow around an inch or less possible by Friday morning. Another one to three inches possible on Friday. Again, a lot of that melts as it hits the ground, but it is going to be blustery and windy, gusts up to 30 miles per hour. And then the weekend getting better after a cold start Saturday. Highs near 50, 67 on Sunday, 72 by by Monday, nice dry, dry stretch through the weekend. Rain holds off until late Tuesday, and then we cool off through the middle of next week.